Anthony Allen Ramos. All right, we all got to know Cameron Ross on season 15 of America's Got Talent, which of course was in 2020. What a crazy time. Flash forward to now, he just put out a brand new song and music video, it's called Sway. Uh, it features some amazing drag performers, including the iconic queen, Alyssa Edwards. And I'm so excited to be chatting with Cameron right now. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Thanks for having good. me. This song is so great, but also it's like, the music video is like a mini movie. It's not just a video. Tell me about the song first, because I think, well, the video, we gotta get into it, it's so cool. But the song is great, you sound amazing, but very catchy. I found myself like, kind of swaying, you know, and keeping the chorus over and over again. Yeah, no, it, we got in the studio, I want to say we recorded this back in December, so releasing it now, I've been sitting on it for a while. Um, but we got in the, the studio, the guy who was my producer, Dave Tuff, I worked with with my previous songs, and me being a queer artist, like, once I find my vibe with somebody and it's just good, I like to stick with, with that and just continue to grow it. And so he had pitched me the song, um, Sway. And unfortunately, I didn't write it. I wrote one of the other songs that will be released later um, with the gentleman that did write it. But um, he pitched it over to me, and it just kind of immediately hit. Um, and so it just kind of talked about, you know, having a little bit of a tough day and then kind of turning that day around and just letting loose. And it's extremely important nowadays, especially just to kind of have fun with things. And, and that's kind of what the song means to me. It's just a really good time. And you took the music video, and I think about what a time you used it to spotlight a bunch of important drag queens, including, of course, Alyssa Edwards, but so many more, not just Alyssa, <laughs> but Alyssa, when you think of big old Texas queens, we love Alyssa. We just had her at the Glad Media Awards, um, yeah. honoring Marin Morris. Well, tell me about the decision of why you wanted to go that direction with the music video, but also, like, I think it's, you know, I still get so excited as a country music band to see these images of queer people being affectionate with each other in, in music videos, in country music videos. So tell me everything about it. Yeah, I think over the years, and I kind of expressed this on EGT, like growing into myself and being comfortable with myself is a big thing. And so I do this because I love it and I love the passion behind it. And so I have a lot of friends that are drag queens and I, that I call family. Um, I, Melissa said it very well, like we call each other as our chosen family. Um, and so, it was something that is a big part of our life. My partner's life, my life, um, a lot of our close friends, it's just a big part of our world. And especially in the, in the LGBTQ plus community, it's a it's a big part of our world. And, and it's it makes a lot of people happy. And so it was one of those things that we were, and really the concept came up, we were, myself and my partner were sitting on the, on the couch and having a margarita like we normally do and <laughs> watching Drag Race on rerun every season like we, always done so it's like drag race is a good go-to for everything um especially from a tv perspective and watching that and having fun with it um and so we were getting ready to ramp up to really sway and we we're like what if we do this for the music video and highlight all of our queens especially nowadays with everything taking place yeah um you know covid during covid drag queens got us through a lot of like really tough times and they were a highlight of a lot of different areas um and now things are a little bit different which is a little bit of a shocker to see and I just wanted to make a message and we wanted to make a message that really stood behind people who are very, very close to us and important to the community. And so we came up with the concept of how about we highlight some of our local cleans? I think that was the main part of a lot of it is we wanted to make it local. I am super grateful that we have Alyssa Edwards here um, in DFW from good old Mesquite, Texas. Um, and then make sure that we shot it in some place that local. We highlighted our local queens. The Dallas has the Rose Room. Um, at station four. And so it's got one of the best kind of stages and some of the most best talent that comes through there. And so we wanted to make sure we highlighted a lot of those queens through the music video and made sure that they were the main focus of the entire music video. And I took a step back, especially with making sure we portrayed this message of how we wanted our queens to show that they're they're just good, great, genuine people and very, very important people. And I think what we did with the music video once we brought it to our directors was they just they brought it alive. We brought our concept to them. My partner was one of the um, executive producers on there, and the guys directed and they just brought the whole thing to life, and it just came out phenomenal. So well said, and thank you for doing that. Um, what what is it like for you? You know, think Texas still continues to be one of the trickiest states for queer people in general. How are you 
you know, handling it. I mean, Dallas, we all know, can be, uh, thankfully, a more welcoming place. Uh, but it's still, I would imagine, it, I, how is it being, you know, an out and about, you know, music artist in Texas right now? So, I mean, I do have a lot of reserves at times and, and stuff that I think twice, like as a gig comes my direction or if I want to explore playing a festival, what is the crowd going to be like? Are they going to accept me, you know, with me showing up with a completely bring that, blinged out outfit um, and and how they'll portray that. And, and so I do kind of always keep that in mind, but at the same time, I do want to make sure that I am putting my best foot forward as an artist, as a queer artist, and trying to break down those barriers and and getting people to understand like we we're, we're here to watch music and love music, and I'm no different than than the next kind of singer when it comes down to are we straight or we gay? That shouldn't matter in that concept, and so it can be a little bit tough navigating through certain aspects of being. Um, a gay male country singer because you're expected to be masculine and I think that's another part of the music video we portrayed in there is just being a masculine man and what people expect you to be um, as a gay artist and then coming off maybe being not as masculine or what they expect but still being genuine to who I am as an artist itself so sure. sometimes it's a little bit hard to navigate but you know we try to we try our best to, to make sure that we stick true to our roots and, and that's what I want to put out there. You know, thinking about with, you know, Glad is doing so much work in Nashville, in country music, trying to do what we can to continue. It does feel like it's such a crazy time, but there are moments of inclusion. Uh, you know, you're thinking about Lily Rose, TJ Osborne, others, um, so many, and, you know, big allies like Casey Musgraves and Maren Morris, Kelsey Ballerini supporting the drag community. Uh, what's your take on where we're at? I mean, you were you know, in the trenches, being a queer artist, making country music. I mean, do you feel like we're getting there and things are getting a little bit easier and hopefully a little better? Yeah, I I, I think we're going in the right direction. I feel like it's taken a little bit to for people to kind of stand behind it or these, um, not everybody, but some A-list celebrities to get behind, you know, without second guessing, like, I want to stand behind like a queer artist and not have to worry about their platform and different things. Mm -hmm. You know, they could still know that they want to be this direction and go this direction, but having to run it through you know, your PR people and all that stuff, which it shouldn't have to work like that. It should be, you know, this is how I feel. We shouldn't be any different as a queer artist than the next artist that is um, out there. And so I, I definitely think that we're in the right, going in the right direction, but we still have a lot of room to, to go. Um, and, and it definitely helps with having allies like Mira Moores, uh, Casey Musgraves, Lizzo, like all these different artists, just bringing all these like, uh, like Asia O'Hara and other local drag artists, Orville Pet bringing on um, a drag entertainer on tour with them, like I, completely phenomenal and I respect it and I love it so much. And so I think we're definitely going in the right direction with things. It's, it's just going to take us as a community to make sure that we are celebrating those people that are celebrating us. Um, and then continue to move forward with the with the word and efforts. I love that. What do you want anyone that watches Sway, the music video, what's the message you want them to take away from it? Because it is, it's a lot of fun, but there is some, you know, there's a lot of heart to it. <laughs> yeah, so Sway, I just, I want people to, when they watch it and listen to the song and then watch it and those two together. And it's almost like a, a mini film in a sense. And mm -hmm. so you get the story of like Alyssa playing My Fairy Godmother and um, Cassie Nova coming in as like the other fairy godmother playing that part, bringing all the queens in to help. That, you know, we are one whole community, that we are this community, we celebrate each other very often. And and it's, it's not a bad thing to celebrate each other and that we should be doing this and standing behind each other as a community. And I think that's a big point of what I want to get across with the music video is yeah. making sure that us as a community are sticking it together and that we're continuing to move forward as a community. And I think we did a really good job with portraying that out there. And, and then me as an artist um, and then growing up in like the country music world and continue to push forward with this and not giving up at, at the same time. So very inspirational at the same time.
I love that. Well, congrats to you. Sway is so good. I'm so glad you <laughs> went in that direction that you did. Everyone, just a reminder, Sway from Cameron Ross is out now. You can stream it, download it, and also make sure to watch the music video featuring Alyssa Edwards. So many other queens. Um, like I said, it's like a mini movie. You'll love it. Uh, but Cameron, hope to see you soon. Thank you for doing the good work that you're doing in Texas. Um, and uh, yeah, wishing you the best. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sway.